So let's take a look at Bootstrap and exactly what it is and what it does for us. Bootstrap is a, a CSS framework. It's built to be responsive and mobile friendly, um, which means it's going to give our web pages a design that is going to look a certain way on mobile, what we call mobile optimized, and then a different way when the screen is spread out. So if you're looking at it on a wide screen, like my monitor here, it's going to look a certain way. Typically, we're talking about columns that are side by side by side. And then if you're looking at it on like an iPhone or an Android device that has a smaller screen, those columns would stack on top of each other. Um, if you have a menu item, it'll have a different look and feel to give it a more responsive mobile, mobile look and feel. So let's go back to our um, Pardot layout templates here. And let's just go ahead and import a layout. And so what you'll see on lines 9 and 10 here, really 9 is what we're really focused on, is it's loading this style sheet, and it's loading it from this URL here. So for, for those of you that have a little bit of um, HTML experience or CSS experience, you're probably familiar with the concept of loading external style sheets. If we just go to this URL, you'll see that this is going to be all of our CSS file. So you can imagine how this saves a ton of time and makes our script look a lot nicer because rather than having to copy this into every single page of our website um, or everywhere we want to use it, we just simply reference um, the URL right here. So basically what this is doing is it's saying, okay, web page, <clears throat> go out to this file, pull in all of the rules from this file, and we're going to be using those on our page. And we can still add some custom um, CSS, but the idea is this is going to give us a starting point using this uh, CSS library that is going to be responsive um, for us. So you can go to getbootstrap.com and you can learn about Bootstrap from here. So again, built to be responsive, uh, mobile first um, on the web. You can download this if you, if you want to include it on a server or in an application and you don't always want to be, be going to referencing what's called the CDN or the website. But you can see right down here, this Bootstrap CDN, you can just add this to any of your, any of your sites. And um, one of the things that you'll notice is the most recent version is this 441, whereas on our Pardot pages, Pardot pages are using version uh, 335. Both of them work really well, but if you wanted to grab it from the from the source, you can go to Get Bootstrap here um, and just copy and paste this in to the pages that you want to uh, have Bootstrap work for. I'm a big fan of this example section. You see they include these uh, custom component. A go-to of mine is using some of these custom components up above. Um, I'm a big fan of this pricing one. So a cool thing that we can do with Bootstrap and Pardot is we can click here into this custom component you see it's taking into this Git Bootstrap page, which is just um, really some a, a template that we can use. And I'm going to just copy this, and I'm going to pull it into um, our Pardot template. So what I can do inside of Pardot is I can import a layout from a URL. I'm going to copy the URL inside of here. I'm going to go ahead and select Import Now. Now, if I wanted to save the Pardot stuff before I do this, I could go ahead and copy and paste that before it's done. Um, I'm not too worried about it at this point. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK. Now, when I import this, notice it's pulling in all of the stuff from this Bootstrap template. Um, and even this Bootstrap template is doing some special, um, uh, special styling in addition to what they're referencing up above. But if you see here, um, it's pulling in some of the Bootstrap favicons um, right here. This is the Bootstrap core CSS. So this one is using um, the latest version of Bootstrap. Um, and this is just going to build us out a page. Now, there's going to be some additional um, changes that we'll make to this. Uh, so we can um, pardotize it is a term that I like to use for it. Um, but you can see we've got our container, we've got the different classes here, and this is just going to give us a really nice starting point for um, a page that we can um, convert into a Pardot layout template um, once we add um, Pardot, um, uh, Pardot regions to the places that we want to make editable for our, um, for our marketing team. 
what we'll do is we'll go ahead and save this page here. And let's view this page. And check that, we've got a really cool um, bootstrap page um, that is um, now hosted uh, on Pardot um, that we can use for our layout templates. Now, the next thing that we're gonna do is go through and make it to where our marketers who aren't going to be doing a lot of the coding stuff for us, ongoing coding stuff for us, we're gonna give them the option to go and update all of these um, specific sessions um, by making them Pardot regions. So hopping back into our editor, um, we are in the, the body section of our page. Um, so the first place I'm gonna add my Pardot region is going to be up here at the top. So um, you notice that this is an H5 class, so this is a header, um, header section, um, and it has company name by default. I'm gonna add Pardot region, and I'm gonna give this a name, and we'll call this name um, company name. So now when we're building out a landing page, this section is going to be um, editable here. Now, if you wanted to have links on your page, you can keep this here. What I'm gonna do now, just for the purpose of our landing page, um, I'm a big fan of landing pages that uh, don't give people an escape. So there's nowhere that they can go other than um, doing our call to action. I'm just gonna do this um, uh, open bracket, exclamation point, dash, dash, and then close it down here. What that does in HTML is comment out the navigation section. I'm gonna add a little note to myself here. Um, so the note is going to be um, removing navigation panel for now, yeah, just so we know what's going on here. And then down below, we've got all of these other sections that we have. So you see, now if we were to add a Pardot region to this pricing section, um, it would allow us to change this pricing. That could be an option that we do. Alternatively, we can just update this class right here. And by updating this class right here, we'll actually generate one of those um, WYSIWYG editors that'll allow our users to log in um, and update uh, a lot more than just the text. So we'll add a Pardot region here. And this will equal, um, we'll call this header text or lead text, lead section will be a good name for it. Um, I'm gonna also add a Pardot region here. Call this CTA top, uh, to call out our top CTA. And then any of these other containers here, so let's take a look. So we've got our uh, card body, We'll make this Pardot region card body one. And you don't have to, um, you don't have to do the underscores. Um, I, I do the underscores um, just because probably just been drilled into me. Um, but uh, what I'm gonna do is, um, use card body two and then for our third card we'll use card body three that's going to make each of these sections editable all right let's take a look through this again one more time before we save um, there might be some additional regions that i want to add so a couple of things that we have not done that we want to make sure that we do for our pardot landing page is update this to our percent percent title percent percent now my understanding um, this is February 2020 when this is recording is happening um, this is changing to um, HML or handlebars merge language um, it is um, going to make things more integratable with Salesforce so the idea is um, rather than having a Pardot merge language and a separate Salesforce merge language there'll be a singular merge language called um, handlebars um, and um, that will be a, that would be a, the next update. But for right now, I'm just going to do this in PML. Um, we'll probably have an update to this that'll include that other version. But for right now, this is what we'll include. Um, and so I'm going to add the title there. I'm going to also add the description 
um, in Pardot merge language here. So what this is doing is when we build out a landing page um, or we use um, one of the um, Pardot uh, features, it's going to be able to understand here, it's going to be whatever title that we set at the landing page level, and then whatever um, SEO description we set is going to go into here. Um, I'm going to give the original creators um, respect for their work, which everyone should do. So I'll leave the author and uh, generator inside of there. Um, and then we'll just go back down. So I think the title looks good. And one other thing I notice here is I'm also going to just add a Pardot region for these titles. So we'll say Pardot region card body to title. And we'll copy that over to the other sections. So this will be card body one title. And then down here would be card body three title. And then just to make things clean, I'm going to go down here. And I'm going to give a user, rather than having all of these features, you could use them or not, I'm just going to make the entire um, footer section a, a Pardot region. So I'm going to say Pardot region equals footer. And that should be all I want. We could go in here and do each of these individually if we wanted to lock it down a little bit better. But um, just for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to keep a single one in there. Next. Um, what I've also done is I've added um, below that section um, just a div. It's not the most beautifully coded section. I should probably do something like this just to make it fit into the page a little bit better. Tab this in. Anyways, for the OCD folks out there, probably driving you a little bit crazy. Um, but we'll just add something like that there. Um, so we have a div. Now this, again, this percent percent content, percent percent is going to be where we embed um, our form um, for, for Pardot. Um, now that being said, what we should also do uh, in including this Pardot form is go back up here to our head section. Let's actually add a style um, for our um, Pardot form uh, to make it look good. Uh, so what we'll do actually is we will save this. And I'm just going to grab it from one of the other layout templates that I have. Um, we'll use one of the other bootstrap ones we've done. Bootstrap form template. Very good. We'll grab this and what we're going to do is let's grab the form styles. We're just going to grab the whole set. We'll leave the template details that's specific to something we're not using for ours. I don't need to save that. I'm going to go back to layout templates, type in bootstrap again, go back to our pricing template that we're working on. I'm just going to put this just above this style section. And remember to add the style tags. Or better yet, just grab the style tag. Pop it into there. Now we'll hit save. And now let's take a look at our landing page. Add new landing page. Take a look, we've got our big form down here below. It looks good. It's, it's matching in our region there. We've got all of these editable sections. We can switch this from free to seedling. We can change our footer section however we want. We'll say 2020. We'll hit save, confirm and save. And we've got ourselves a Pardot landing page. 
And from our bootstrap landing page here, um, we'll go to inspect just using the Chrome console. And if we want to take a look at the responsive design here, now we did strip out the menu, but take a look. Now when we're on the phone, things kind of stack up against each other. Our form still takes full, um, full width here down at the bottom. Looks really good. So when someone's looking at our site from their mobile phone, whether it's a smaller phone or some kind of a tablet, they have these columns that stack up quite nicely. Then as things get larger, um, things break up into columns. Nice big buttons here. Um, we did not add uh, any buy now pages to any of these, but you kind of get the idea of what you can do here. And, and we've got our Pardot, um, Pardot form um, included here. So for basically either buy something from us right now or reach out to us for more information. Thanks for watching.